Hello everybody. I'm heading out to the shop. It's Friday night. Um, Got to get ready for the Tri-State Woodcarver show tomorrow. Our Turner's Club is going to be, we're going to have a booth there and we'll have two lathes and we'll be doing some demonstrations. And um, the club president had a sign-up sheet for that kind of stuff to where all the guys could sign up to turn, you know, at different times during the day. And uh, I have a soccer game I'm going to bug out to, so I didn't sign up for a time slot, but there were a bunch of available ones. So I told him I'd come prepared to turn. And while I'm there, uh, any open time slot, I'll just jump in and do a little turning because, you know, that's what keeps people coming to the booth. They see you doing something and they come over and then they want to talk about it. And then you meet people who are, who are turners and didn't know there was a club or people who are thinking about getting into turning. And just really, you, you just become an ambassador to the hobby. So uh, tonight I'm going to gather up, I'm going to sharpen my tools and try to gather up everything I think that I need to be able to turn at the show tomorrow. Also, I got this. Ultra high molecular weight plastic. It's an inch and a half diameter rod. And the other day I lost, I've had these nonstick bushings on my lathe that I made since I made that video. And I don't, two and a half, three years maybe. And I lost one the other day and I have looked, I've cleaned and I've looked and I can't find it. So I'm gonna make another one, but I bought extra large rod. And let me show you why I bought the rod that this diameter. Here's my pin press. And you remember the other day I did the little project where I made these little uh, wood blanks or wood blocks to go in here to make it much easier to, to adjust this uh, rod, this press rod in and out because the, uh, the, uh, the knob was difficult to turn. Well, I usually take a piece of cardboard and put it here against this piece of aluminum to press so I don't damage my pins. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece of this UHMW off, drill a hole so that it seats over this, and then I'll have a nice soft um, rod on the other side, pu a push rod to be able to push my pins together. So this is going to get some good use. It, it, I'm thinking too that I may just split it down the middle and be able to turn a couple of bushings. I think I could turn, I don't think I could get four out of it, but if I split it down the middle, I think I could get two bushings uh, and I wouldn't waste as much plastic. But uh, I purchased that off of eBay. I think I paid like 11 bucks, including shipping. Uh, it may not have been that much, maybe a couple dollars cheaper. I, I, I honestly don't remember, but looking forward to that project. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for a little bit and uh, I'm going to gather up all of my stuff and get ready to turn. And if any of you happen to be in or around Evansville, uh, the Tri-State Woodcarver Show is held at the National Guard Armory in Evansville. And if you just uh, go on your phone and Google Evansville National Guard, it'll give you the address and you can toss in your GPS and you can you know make it straight there. It's real, really easy to find. It's on the Lloyd Expressway. Um, if you happen to be out, come on in, say hello. Uh, I plan to be there. I think I'll be there almost all day tomorrow. Uh, I think my soccer games, I lucked out and they're end of the day games. So I think it closes like at six on Saturday. And I think I got a four o'clock or Sunday. I got a four o'clock game on Sunday and I've got a later game. I think it closes at six on Saturday. And I'm thinking my game is after that. So I think I may get to be there all day tomorrow. But uh, if you happen to be out there, uh, swing by and say hello. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to say hi and uh, just, you know, talk turning or whatever with you. Well, I finally got everything together. <laughs> it took me about an hour and a half. I thought, I told my wife, I'm just going to go out to the garage. I'm going to grab five blanks, uh, you know, for slim lines. And uh, I'll cut them, tube them, trim them, and just take them with me tomorrow. Well, then it hit me. I got to have a mandrel to turn them on. Got to have a 60 degree live center to put in the other, in the tailstock. I've got to have my tool. It needs to be sharpened. You know, I need sandpaper. I need paper towels. I need micro mesh pads. I need bushings <laughs> and all this other stuff. Then I, I told you I lost one of my uh, nonstick bushings. So I had to make a new nonstick bush or a new set of nonstick bushings. So it took me a while to get everything together, but I finally have got everything together and I've condensed it down. I feel pretty good. It's not going to be too much stuff to carry in. I do have one of those portable wagons. Uh, I'll take that with me uh, just so, you know, in case I... I It'd be easier to carry it all. But let me show you what I've got. I've got my three quarter inch roughing gouge and I put a brand new edge on it. It's sharp, razor sharp. I've got my blanks here. This is all of my sandpaper, my paper towels, my live center, my tail stop, or my um, mandrel. I got my nonstick bushings. I got bushings on the mandrel that's for turning. I've got my accelerator, my CA glues. I got my cleaner, or my denatured alcohol for cleaning the blanks. I've got my mask. Back here, I've got my pin press so that I can press things together. All of this stuff had to be gathered up, and now it is, and I'm ready to go. 
almost. Because now what I've got to do is I'm just going to leave this stuff on the saw. I'll grab it tomorrow on my way out the door. I've got to go in the house and get ready. Uh, and what that means is I have a couple of, of uh, cell phones that uh, I'll take with me uh, to record. And if I get the chance to record, sometimes it's tough over there because there's people, you know, there's always people in and out and, and you get a lot of heads and hands in the, <laughs> in the way and there's a lot of background noise so you can't really hear what's going on. I'm going to try to record. We'll see how it goes. Um, I need to get the projector ready. We have a projector that we hook up to one of the cameras at, at our Turner's Club and we project the image up on the wall so that people farther back in the room can see what's going on at the lathe. And uh, I need to take the projector tomorrow, not because we're going to use it there, but because um, we're going to be hanging it on the ceiling of our club. Uh, and I'm turning it over to the person who's going to handle that. So I, I got quite a bit to do in the house. I probably got another half an hour, 45 minutes worth of work to do in the house to get ready. But I don't care. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to get there tomorrow. I love this show. I look forward to it all year long. I wish there were two or three of them during the year. So getting ready is a small price to pay, and it's going to be a blast to turn and to talk with people and to check out all the, the carvings and the wood burnings and the, and the guy that does the scroll saw work. It's just going to be a blast to just talk to everybody, and uh, I can't wait to get there. I'm really excited. So anyway, I'm heading in the house to finish up my, my getting, getting ready, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great evening, and we'll see you real soon. Take care, everybody.